Hi, I'm Lisa Miranda. Today we're on Hawk Hill in the Marin Headlands, just above the Golden Gate Bridge. The lovely San Francisco Bay is right behind me. And today we're going to be talking about spirit animals and colors, coming right up. So I'm wearing purple today because we happen to be shooting on a Thursday and purple is the lucky color for Thursday. Every day of the week has a color that's attuned to its energy. So when you wear the correct color on the correct day, it's a way of incorporating that energy into your daily life. Thursday, purple day, named after Thor, Thor's Day is a good day for taking a chance on something, for games of chance like gambling, for travel, especially long distance travel, travel over bodies of water. And um, it's just a, a good luck day. So wearing purple gives your day an extra punch. I'd also like to talk a little bit about spirit animals. We're on Hawk Hill right now. The hawk is not one of my personal spirit animals, but the raven is. And since we came to this place, I've seen several ravens who've come by and said hello to me. So working with your spirit animal is one way of incorporating magic into your life because you're working with the energy of your animal. I'm often asked how you know what your spirit animal is, and that's pretty easy. It's usually an animal that you really like, that you feel drawn to, perhaps since childhood, or an animal that you keep running into, whether it's the actual animal or whether it's in something that you wear, like these fingerless gloves I'm wearing today, a piece of jewelry or a shirt. Uh, you might be drawn to a book on your spirit animal as you're walking by a bookstore and it catches your eye in the window. So I work with the raven because it reminds me that there's magic everywhere. When a raven calls out to you, it's telling you to look for the magic in everyday ordinary things. So that's what I try to do. It also reminds you that in the darkness, uh, in other words, the black of the raven's wing, there's light and color and beauty. So when the sun shines on the raven's feathers, you can see it's not just black, there's green in there and sometimes blue. So it's a way of reminding yourself about that truth, that in the darkness there can be light and beauty. The raven also helps you to communicate with spirits or someone who's passed on to heaven that you might want to communicate with. So that's another way you can work with raven medicine, as Native Americans sometimes call it. So again, um, that's what I'm working with today, the color purple and the raven. I hope that you liked this video and I hope you found it useful. If you did, please hit the like button, consider subscribing and sharing this with your friends. Until next time, blessed be.